Look at that little pup, guys. Does she not look like Karen? Yeah, it looks like her name is Karen. <laughs> She's like, what is taking so long? I want to speak to the manager. You gotta do what with this trailer and put more? You already put <laughs> enough in there. <laughs> I'm so dead, look at her. <laughs> Alright guys, we are almost there now, about to take a left onto FM 2943 and then the place is going to be right on the right, so it's right up here, not too far away. The beef capital of the world. Got beef? I got beef. We can handle it. And there's two truck entrances on the satellite, guys, but one of them has a gate that's closed and the other has it open. So I do believe it's going to be the first gate up here that's open, so we're going to see. Alright, this is the place on the right here. Welcome to Merrick. They're so friendly already. Yep. A lot of cattle haulers around here too we saw pass us. Because it's the beef capital of the world. Merrick, natural pet work. So I think we're hauling uh, pet food, which is usually pretty heavy, which is good as windy as it is today. I do believe this it's the first gate, but ooh, is it open? Yeah, it is open. And the other one looks to be closed. Do not enter. Wrong way. Uh, so that's the exit. So then try the second one then. Yep. Oh uh, yeah, truck entrance. Yep, there we go. I love when it's a big old sign. There's no questions. Makes it easy. Yeah, the satellite view, this one was closed and that first one was open. I've definitely never been here. At the moment, our call box is not working. Please head to the shipping office to check in. Okay. Nice. Probably that big building in the middle there. There's our trailer we're picking up. This is a this is listed as a drop and hook, guys, so I imagine that might be our trailer there. It's the only CFI I see, unless there's some over there. Oh, there's a lot of trailers over there. Hmm. Oh, there's another CFI over that way, so maybe that is where we go. All right guys, we're gonna run in and check in. Be right back with y'all. So right there is a tumbleweed that's trying to release. As you can see, it's starting to get pulled up and once it uproots itself, that's when it'll start tumbling and spreading its seeds. I like tumbleweeds. Nature with Dave. All right guys, we just got done getting checked in. Uh, we gotta drop the trailer on the other side of the building to my left here. And the lady said that they have to check our trailer to see if anything else needs to be added. So they will give us a call when it's ready. So dang, we thought it was going to be a nice and easy drop and hook, but you know, maybe they check it in, I don't know, 10 minutes. But what if, what if but Billy Joe, what if they add more stuff to it? I then they're going to have to pull it back into the dock door, put more stuff to it, and then. Yeah. I've never heard of this happening. We yeah. have to go check our trailer that we already loaded <laughs> to see if we want to add more stuff to it. Okay. That's trucking. Get used to it because that's trucking, guys. When you get out here, just know that's trucking. I'm thinking back here, not here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's technically it could be anywhere. I guess. Hell, it looks like you could pull through over here if you needed to. Yeah. She didn't say all the way back to the right. Look at all this dust. Ah, it's a little tornado. Oh, oh. Bumpy. Yep. Yeah. 
trailers over there. This reefer is wide open, just soaking in all that dust. Yep. Be where they keep all the busted reefers. Oh, oh Lord, have mercy on my soul. That, that was bad. It wasn't that bad. It was bad. Kind of look at that. God, look at that thing. It's a crater. Everything's bigger in Texas. Yep. Yeah. Even the craters. Let me hop out in the dust storm. You have fun with that. Yeah. God damn. Oh, no. Hold on a minute. Wait, wait for that dust you just oh kicked God. up to clear. Hold no, on. Okay, I'm going. <laughs> Calm down. Oh Lord, guys, the dust storm onto <laughs> my eyeballs. Things I do for YouTube. God bless. It's dusty. of my mouth is all gritty from eating the sand. <laughs> Sorry if my filming was shaky. I couldn't see anything because there was dust in my eyes. All right, guys, we're all disconnected. Billy Joe said she was eating dust too out there. It's in my eyeballs yeah. too. It we're was... all disconnected and dusty. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there goes our trailer. I'm assuming the only other 4 Series CFI trailer was the one up there by the doors, wasn't it? It was. So that's it. Did she tell you where we had to go park? No, she no? just said she'd give me a call. So we just sit somewhere basically out the way until they call us. I hope they do this sometime today. <laughs> yeah, me too. Because <laughs> you never know. I'm just going to do a double take and make sure there's no other CFIs down here. I don't think there was. I didn't see any, but it's like they got overnight parking. He's sleeping. Yeah, it said in the load notes, just not on the weekends when they're ah. parking. But I think I'm going to go park over by these two trailers. Yeah. He'd be out of the way too. So actually after this load guys, we are going to Joplin. Uh, this is a relay that we're dropping off in Joplin. I'm gonna grab my Jeep and uh, take it back down to Mississippi where she belongs cause she's been stuck at the Joplin terminal cause I gave Billy Joe a ride whenever we uh, started. And yeah, that's what we're doing. That is our trailer over there guys. And yeah, it's not in a dog door and they still got to check it. So at some point today, the yard jockey's got to move it. I wish I could just connect to it and like if they want it against a dog door, I can just move it, you know? That'd be I mean? perfect, yeah. And they could just call me and say, hey, okay, you can leave. Yeah. But we'll just sit here and wait. Oh, I'll well. Take a nap. Yeah, let's go play some Battleship. Okay. All right, guys, so we just got a phone call. They do need to add to the load, so we have to go hook up to it over there and then back into door nine, which is right there. So, yeah, it kind of sucks. <laughs> Hope we can just hook and go, but now we gotta do all this, so. Hopefully they'll be quick. They seem on the ball. Hopefully. All right. Good thing is, if you guys look over there, there's so much space. The door nine that we gotta get into is just gonna be a straight back, so. We've had these easy backs lately. Yeah, almost every back we've had has been pretty chill. I forget how to get into the tight spot. <laughs> Look at that little pup, guys. Does she not look like Karen? Yeah, it looks like her name is Karen. <laughs> She's like, what is taking so long? I want to speak to the manager. You gotta do what with this trailer and put more? You already put enough <laughs> in there. <laughs> I'm so dead, look at her. <laughs> it was cute as a little dog, though. Oh, man. She's just watching us. 
She is. She's just looking at everything. Enjoying that wind blow through her. Aw, <laughs> uh, we need one. She's got a little purple thing on. We keep joking about getting a uh, pet, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. I don't know. Is she it? said she don't know. <laughs> That means deep down she wants one. I do, but <laughs> it's so tough to have a dog out here. It is. Look, this place security guards got lights and flashers and everything. That's how they go tell you're ready to back in. All right guys, so I've never seen this on one of our trailers before ever. So right now we have the uh, tandems on the 40, right? This little scratch mark here appears to be the 40, and if you measure it, it is. However, look at this. The 40 stamp here, let me see if I can get the focus. You see the 40 stamp that has on like almost all of our trailers? It's usually accurate to the 40, but not this one. Because I was helping Billy Joe slide the tandems and I'm like watching this 40 here, and I'm like, you know, go ahead, go back, go back, go back, and it stopped here. And she's like, I can't go back no further, and I'm like, yeah, that does look like a lot of freaking tail right there. I'm like, well, why is that jacked up? So I guess somebody had marked this instead as a 40. But I have never seen that because these were always pretty accurate. And that's the first trailer I've seen where that is definitely not the 40. Because you can't even go that far back to it. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting to me. All right, guys. So uh, we just got our trailer. And we are not leaving because all the news stations and everything are showing that it is um, 65 mile an hour winds right now. And you can see it out here. It's definitely 65 mile an hour winds. The trees are blowing, dust is blowing, shine, signs are shaking. And uh, we've decided to go ahead and wait it out. We only have about 20,000 pounds. Yeah, off. like 20,000 pounds. So we were a little bit worried at 65 mile an hour winds. Look at that sign shaking there. And uh, yeah, we decided to go ahead and shut it down. Start off in the morning. We could still make our relay on time. I think it's 513 miles. So there's no use in risking it with those wind speeds. So we are gonna shut down over here. Yeah, the high wind advisory is only until 6 p.m. So then it's in five hours. We'll just get some sleep. Yep, get some sleep. Start off in the middle of the night like we like to anyways. And yeah, call it a day. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Sucks we can't get on the road right now, but, you know, safety first, right? If you're interested in joining CFI or getting your trucking career started, you can. Link down in the description as well as in the comments. And hope to see you out here. Meet me, Billy Joe, at a terminal. And, yeah, come on over. That's trucking. Thank y'all for watching and subscribing. Peace. Y'all look at this security checkout here. It's like a little tank, man. They even got a little winch on the front of it. That's what's up. A light bar on top. <laughs> Dude, I like this. I'm gonna need one of these. Wow. Let's take a spin to a foreign place. These open highways are calling our name, and now it's time for us to escape. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape into the great unknown. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape into the great unknown.